Hello everyone, Bon Yuki here again today, and this time we're going to be discussing G Sync, G Sync, G Sync on an LG OLED. So, as you can see here, this is the driver revision 440.52. It is a beta driver. And if you look closely on the side here, it's going to be tough to see because the font is so small. But if you look closely on the side here, I now have a setup G Sync option. And this right here is the LG C9 that I have. I have the 77 inch model. And this is just for audio here. As you can see, look, it's not that see that option is gone. So it doesn't see my receiver as being G Sync compatible. But it does see it for the LG C9. So I know a lot of people were asking questions about when this was coming out, so on and so forth. Uh it's been out for a few days now and people have been using it and they've found there are certain things you have to do in order to get it to work. Um, I just left it at 1440p 120. Some people state they've been getting 4K. I, I don't know how, but that's what they've been saying. 4K 120. I, I don't know. I see the pictures. I mean, I don't want to call them liars. It's just, as you can see, it doesn't come up with 4K 120 for me, but... It does show 1440p 120, and what's nice is, even though it's showing 1440p 120, which does happen to work, I will say no for that, um, I do see in Shadow of the Tomb Raider that 4K60 does, in fact, enable G-Sync. So I'm going to do a quick demonstration of how the game runs in G-Sync. I'll just change the options right now. Oh, another thing is uh, people kept talking about HDR. Does it work? They've been a lot of, I'm getting a lot of questions about it. And yes, it actually does work with um, HDR on. So uh, as you can see, HDR is on, DLSS is on, 4K, uh, no stereoscopic. So we'll just play the game. And I'll just run the benchmark and you'll see that it does look pretty nice. There's no tearing at all. You're getting about, I want to say around the 50. Oh, that's another reason that you know this driver does something. On the top of the screen, it'll say instant game response is launched. So I guess that's like the, um, what's it called? ALLM auto low latency mode for HDMI 2.1. So that seems to work for this. Uh, let me move down this keyboard and get down to the options. And I'll also put in the the art, RTX mode. That's what really will hit the frame rate hard. So we have it on. So let's do this real quick and see how I do. Turn the volume down. I did like this game. This is one of the better games of the this gen I've played. I really like the Tomb Raider series. I like the original ones, but I feel that these were pretty done pretty well a lot of people say oh well it's just a rip off of uncharted but i was like well tomb raider kind of came first so but i don't know if you guys could see in this video but there's no tearing there's no tearing at all i'm getting about 56 55 53 52 let me see if i could show you guys that frame rate if i can back this up a little bit uh, so you get the frame rate in the picture All right, that way you guys can see it. And yeah, I, you don't see any tearing. I don't see any tearing. Uh, I believe this video is being shot in 30 frames per second. So let me see if I can give you more of a, a better view than that. And here comes the second test. This, this test uh, doesn't hit as hard as the first test, but there's no tearing. And I'm getting about 46 frames per second. And it looks solid. Now, I'm going to try stuff on emulation and so on and so forth. But uh, this just re reaffirms to me this is probably the best purchase of a television I've done. I mean, it was a hefty purchase, but it was a pretty great purchase. See, look, I'm getting 42 frames, 43 frames. I don't see any tearing at all. So G-Sync is working. Uh, I did try, try it out in 1440p, 120 hertz. It worked fine. Uh, I just wanted to see, can I do 4K? which also looks good. Um, I do have integer scaling uh, turned on. It's not gonna really do anything right now, but probably because the game's already running in native 4K, but I am interested to see what it does in emulation, so on and so forth. I mean, this is a gamer's heaven TV. Uh, there's another thing I wanted to do after this is done. I wanna show people that 
this TV really is worth the money because of the features that it has aside from just G-Sync and being the best PC monitor that you can buy. Um, it does other things that I haven't really talked about that I've been figuring out as I've had a TV for about a month now. I honestly don't even use this TV that much. I've been using my, um, my other CRTs mostly, but when I want to play a game on the PC and uh, 77 inches is, is tough to beat. So, and plus, it's, if you have people that are around that want to play or just want to watch the games, yeah, I mean, I got the projector upstairs, but this looks a lot nicer than my projector. But yeah, and there's no tearing. I'm at 49 frames, and you know, I don't see. I'll see like a hitch and stuff, but that's that's what happens when you get lower frame rates. But you don't see any tearing. You don't see a frame going into the other one. It looks nice and smooth. It looks rather playable. This looks really, really nice. And, I mean, this is just a beta driver. Maybe it'll get better. I don't, I don't know what they could really improve. But it looks awesome. More compatibility, I would say, is something that would be nice. It, I know there's a lot of Samsung owners out there who say, Hey, I bought a TV with um, VRR over HDMI two years ago. Will it support it? I can't answer that question. What I can answer is that currently with this beta driver, my 2080 Tide does run in G-Sync. On this display now, as you can see here 51 frames per second I got it all maxed out pretty much I mean certain things like motion blur and stuff like that um, but what I wanted to show you guys something that was pretty cool that I found out about this TV is the scaling options now I don't know if I'll be able to do it on this input but there are options for this television um, that are pretty pretty sick and let me see if I could even find it in here um, I don't know if it's, not, I remember now. I, okay, I remember now. Sorry for derailing this video, but if you have this television, this is one of the things you really should be looking at. And I haven't really seen anyone talk about it, uh, the aspect ratio. So right now we're going to, we're an original, but we could do a vertical zoom, which means you can um, make the TV taller. Look at that, taller. You can make it lower, or you could even adjust the screen up or adjust the screen down. So I'm just going to reset it. There's an all direction zoom. Now, this is where it's really cool. So, all direction zoom means you can actually move it to be sh well, it's at its shortest, but you can make it taller, you can make it shorter. And here's the one that I like. Uh, I mean, you can make it wider too here. See, these are options that I didn't even know this TV could do. I just looked them up. But look at this one. Look, you can zoom in on both axes at the same time. That's pretty badass. Not a lot of TVs have this capability, but I'm glad this LG OLED has it. Uh, you can move it up. You can move it down. Things of that nature. Like, let me see if I could... Can I make this smaller? No, you can't make it smaller. But you can zoom in. So if you're doing, like, emulation, um, you could basically just start messing around with these things and more or less make the image to however you want it so that's awesome running off the ossc there's always some games that look like they're a little too small well now you can zoom it in like there's a 1600 by 1200 mode i can zoom in now with the ossc it'll look awesome so that's just another psa i wanted to throw out there with the lg oleds of how nice they are the c9 is scalar it's really really fast it, i mean we're talking milliseconds and you have that flexibility with a beautiful image coming off the OSSC. I mean, it's a tough combination to beat. Anyway, if you got any questions or comments, just hit me up down below. I'll try to help you as much as I can. I, I don't have the Samsung anymore, the QLED. My buddy has it, and he does have a 1080 tie, so maybe he's going to look into that. He's been talking to me about getting a, a new uh, AMD card. Good for him. But uh, maybe after seeing G-Sync uh, or, or VRR working, maybe you won't need to. Anyway, folks, have a good one.